and they say, I can't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't. You must. And, and you must believe that your child is still in there and that your child loves you um, and that they'll remember what a great parent you were. You have to believe that. Parents these days think that they're supposed to be friends with their kids. You're not. You're supposed to be the parent. When they're older, you get to be friends with them. And it's really awesome when they're adults. But as kids, you are the steady and you are the authority. And you do it with love. But no is okay. And putting your foot down is okay. And parents, like I, you know, I grew, my kids uh, were born in California. I mean, I was taught all, all this stuff in preschool you know, teach them empathy. Don't say no. Uh, go down to their level. No, be a parent. You are the authority. Be that. Yeah. Well, and I think I actually think that when it, parents that don't protect their kids from this stuff, I think that the kids resent them later because it's like because it's like, I mean, you're a kid who doesn't do stupid stuff when they're a kid. I mean, you know, I mean, you need to be told no. Otherwise, you're going to go nuts. Yeah, but here's the other flip side of it. So this is the difficulty. So when you bring your child into the doctor, because, you know, I brought my kid in and I'm like, oh, they're going to understand. They've known her since she was two. No, no, they just changed her name in the chart to a male name. They just like they lost their minds. The pediatrician who we've been going to for 16 years just changed her name. And if you're not you know, a strong human, you're going to follow what the doctors say. If a doctor tells you, you must transition your child or she will commit suicide, there are parents who are petrified and they'll do it because they want to keep their child alive. I was told that not just by the priest, but by the doctors, I must affirm, I must do this or my daughter will commit suicide. Parents believe the medical communities. Not everybody is as strong willed as I am. I'm a lawyer. I read everything. Not everybody can, has the time. And my daughter, again, like, I mean, I had to hide the poisons. She was suicidal. Maybe a less informed parent would have been so desperate, be like, okay, fine, we'll put her on puberty blockers because I just want to keep her alive. And these are the these are the false choices parents are are given. Medicalize or your daughter dies. Medicalize or your son dies. What what does a parent do in this situation? So I blame the medical societies and the medical community less so than the parents, because the parents are given one treatment, and that is to trans their kids. One only. And if you're going to the school and they 